the next topic uh, i'm going to discuss here is a projection in computer graphics so what is a projection now let's have a look on it uh, projection means you're uh, showing something on the screen okay on a 2d plane on the paper so whatever it may be so the projection is defined as converting the 3d object into 2d object and is transforming the object into the projection plane or a view plane suppose whatever the uh, object you have taken that is in 3d so that is going to be shown on a 2d object what i can say suppose if you are standing you are a 3d so you are standing so when when whenever the shadow is appeared a projection is uh, uh, appeared on the plane surface the view plane okay the shadow is uh, you can see on the floor okay in the same way when you place an, any object if you want to see that object so in what direction you can see so what face you can observe what uh, what what face you can able to see it clearly whenever you place a light on that object so in which direction uh, which face it is appearing on the plane surface the view plane okay so in the view plane how the image is projecting on the view plane that is the main thing how the image is projecting the 3d image is going to be projecting on the view plane okay that is a projection projection is mainly it is defined uh, defined to convert the 3d object to into 2d object and is transforming into the projection plane a projections are broadly uh, classified into two types one is a parallel projection and another is a perspective projection so now let's have a look on this flow chart okay so if you see here this is the projection a projection is divided into two types that is said the parallel projection and the perspective projection again this parallel type projection is of two types orthographic projection and oblique projection orthographic and oblique so the orthographic can be uh, like principal views or you can see in ex axonometric view principal view means you can see the picture on the side view front view top view you can see that that is orthographic principal view if you talk about the orthographic axonometric view so the image can be uh, seen in uh, projected in isometric diametric and trimetric okay so this is all about the orthographic all of the parallel projections only now coming to the oblique oblique is uh, the image can be projected in the cavalier or cabinet in the view of the cavalier mode or in the cabinet mode so what is those and what are the different uh, how it is going to be displayed that i'll explain okay and coming to the perspective the perspective projection can be view on one point view two point view and the three point view okay so first let me explain about the parallel projection so what exactly this parallel projection is in parallel projection projection the coordinates of the object will be transformed into view plane so here whatever the object you have taken each object is having some coordinate because if you want to display on a view plane we required a coordinates because in the 2d a 2d you required a coordinate like x y x y coordinates you required along the parallel plane is called parallel projection in a parallel projection <coughs> excuse me in a parallel projection the projection lines are parallel to each other see here <coughs> excuse me this is a 3d object right so this 3d 3d object this face is going to be projected on the view plane so how it is going to be projected on the view plane with parallel lines okay in parallel projection the projection lines are parallel to each other so this is a projection line this is a projection line these are parallel to each other right or wrong these lines are parallel to each other there is the least amount of distortion within the object so here in the parallel projection least distortion will be there the lines that are parallel to the object are all also parallel to the drawing also the parallel projections are good for accurate measurement when you work if you want to work on the accurate measurements then uh, go with the parallel projection so now let's discuss about a uh, different types of the parallel projection so one is the orthographic projection and another is the oblique projection what i said now right so first let's see what is this orthographic projection 
orthographic projection means a small difference is there one for oblique and orthographic orthographic means here the projection is perpendicular to the view plane whereas in the oblique the projection is pa uh, not perpendicular to the view plane how it is i'll show you right so now let's work on the orthographic projection orthographic projection is a parallel projection right so it is perpendicular to the view plane in orthographic projection you can see the front side front side rear positions all these are called as elevations we generally used to call it as elevations and the top is called as a plane view we know that the whatever the top view that you can see on the 3d object that is a plane view so it is again classified into two types multi view and uh, axonometric view orthographic projection is a perpendicular to the view plane so this perpendicular to the view plane is again divided into two classified into two types one is a multi view and another is a uh, axonometric view multi view means nothing but a front top back that is a multi view so multi view projection for which the object is behind project projection plane object shown in 2d so here if you see this is the object okay so this is a plane this is a view plane so only the top view can be displayed on the view plane this is a multi view projection and here if you see if the plane is uh, view plane is here only the side view can be displayed on the view plane you can't see all the sides only the side view whatever that is saying that is you can see on the plane and only the front face suppose the object is placed and the view plane is uh, inclined with something like this it's a 45 degrees so it's inclined so here only you can see the front face view this is a front face view you can see on the view plane so this is a multi view projection then what about the axonometric projection so it shows more than one faces of the object so far in the multi view you can only able to see the front face uh, side face and the top face you are going to see but in axonometric uh, projection you can see more than one faces of the object how so isometric it's again classified into isometric diametric and trimetric isometric projections all angles are equal whenever all angles are equal you can see more than one face in a diametric projection suppose two angles are equal with respect to the principal of axis you can able to see more than one face of the object suppose in trimetric projection angles are not equal if angles are not equal also you can able to see mean not completely a part of the other side is also you can able to see this is a axonometric projection so these are all the orthographic projections now coming to the oblique projection so this is also a parallel projection oblique projection is not a perpendicular to the view plane that is what i said the main difference is orthographic projection is perpendicular to the view plane but in oblique there is uh, the image uh, the 2d image that whatever your screen on the view plane so it is not perpendicular uh, perpendicular to the view plane again this oblique is divided into two types one is a cavalier and another is a cabinet so this this is also very easy uh, cabinet means the projection is no, it is not perpendicular to uh, 90 degrees means it can be displayed in some angle so what is that angle that we see cavalier projection is a kind of oblique projection where the projecting line so here if you see this is a projecting line this is my image okay so uh, here only this part is going to be uh, displayed on the view plane object surface all these uh, projecting lines emerging parallel from the object surface and is incident at 45 degrees so see here this is incident at 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees at the projection plane so in this projection the length of the reading axis is larger remember students the cavalier projection the length of the reading axis is larger than the cabinet so cabinet it not this much of large will not be present but in the cavalier uh, the reading axis is larger okay so this is a cabinet projection in the cabinet see here in the previous uh, if you see the image it is the image is stretched like this and here the reading of the axis is larger but here in the cabinet it is similar to the cavalier projection only but the length of the reading axis just half of the cavalier projection and here the incident angle is see here 
previously it is 45 degrees in the kevil ear but in the cabinet the angle is 63.4 degrees rather than 45 degrees so obliques are not perpendicular to each uh, perpendicular to the view plane so whenever it is not perpendicular to the view plane means it is not in 90 degrees but in orthographic uh, the image should be 90 degrees to the view plane but in oblique the image is not 90 degrees to the view plane so just remember those points now coming to the next uh, that is a perspective projection so far you have worked on the parallel projection now see the perspective projection the center of the projection is the finite distance from projection plane this projection produces a realistic view but does not preserve rea relative proportion remember of an object dimension projection of a distant objects are smaller than the projection of an object of same size that are closer to the projection plane so again this perspective projections are classified into three types one is one point two point three point so in perspective projection the thing you have to remember that there will be only one point is called vanish point we are using in the perspective projection a vanish point we are using where all points meet together suppose if you consider the one point projection there will be only one vanish point so it means all points will be meet only at one point that is one point projection all all will be meet at one point only okay so in two point projection there will be two vanish points one in x direction and another in y direction that is a two point and three point projection means there will be three vanish points so one vanish point will be in x direction is in another and the third one is in two direction so this is about the perspective and the parallel projection so i hope you understand it clearly students so if you if you still having any doubt please let me know thank you